Hi, this is Sibila Extreme Vocal and how to scream and growl like Chuck Schuldiner, the godfather of death metal. In the very beginning of that video I want to mention that this whole footage is a humble tribute to Chuck Schrodinger and his band's death and control denied. Chuck is one of my greatest inspirations when it comes to writing lyrics, creating vocals or composing music overall. Also, I am aware of the fact that creating material about the godfather of death metal is pretty serious and responsible thing to do. So I have put much time and much effort to deliver as best and the most valuable as possible uh, footage. In this video we will focus mostly on vocals of uh, Chuck Schuldiner. I hope that you will like this video and find it interesting or helpful. The first thing that we will take a closer look at are the early inspirations and bands that Chuck Schuldiner was listening to. And obviously we can find bands like Venom, Slayer or Possessed which had pretty much a big influence on their first releases as Mantas and later at death, but of course we can find also bands like Black Sabbath, Metallica, Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, Merciful Fate, King Diamond, Queensryche, Kiss and French band Sortilege. Fuck me if I pronounce it too wrong. A Sortilege band was one of the most favorite bands of Chuck Schuldiner. We can even find some similarities between their music and the intro of Evil Dead song. When we want to follow or to create a style similar to somebody else, then we have to know what are his or her inspirations. And this is why we are listening to those bands so you would know, so you would hear what Chuck Schuldiner did like and what could inspire him while he was creating music and vocals as well. Lay down your soul to the gods rock and roll know those bands who could inspire Chuck while making music or doing vocals, now we can take a closer look at his voice. Chuck was a tenor which means he had one of the highest types of male voices. The only one higher is the counter tenor. Anyway, Chuck often has shown his ability to nail an awesome juicy way damn fucking high notes. And the best example here is the cover of Judas Priest's song Painkiller, which appeared on the Sound of Perseverance album. we can hear aggressive, juicy and pretty much original combination of fry screen distortion with a clean head voice that extends into the falsetto for hitting the highest notes. In my humble opinion, this is the peak performance of Chuck Schuldiner's vocals. Pretty much wide range, aggressive, high notes and juicy distortion to be able 
uh, to hit a performance like that, first of all, you have to practice uh, for years. You have to develop your range uh, towards uh, the highest notes with head voice, falsetto, and be familiar with the fry scream distortion and the solid breath support that will take away the most of the effort from your throat and direct it towards the abdominal area. We have rushed a little bit forward by mentioning uh, the cover of uh, Painkiller by Death. Now let's get back to the earlier releases of Death 1984 Power of Darkness demo. hear the influence of band Venom on the music and vocals as well. Uh, by the way, Power of Darkness is the only one song on that demo release that includes the vocals of Chuck Schrodinger. The rest of the vocals is done by Cam Lee, who was the lead singer of Death at the time. The vocal style that Chuck is presenting in that specific song is a mixture of false chord, which creates the lower uh, distortion, which is thicker, and the higher distortion is delivered by doing a fry scream combined with falsetto. The style is pretty much wild, extreme and has to be aggressive. It is not the overanalyzed and precise thing. It is just you want to be fucking extreme, you want to be wild and aggressive as a fucking killing machine or animal and want to deliver the most frantic vocals that your throat is able to. Out of the creation of vocal style of Chuck Schrodinger is still in the progress, we can hear pretty much wide range. Those highest screams, maybe not the best quality screams, are still fucking hard to hit. And I say it as a baritone. <laughs> The interesting thing about the power of darkness with vocals of Chuck Schuldiner is that Chuck hits pretty much the whistle register. The sound is totally out of the control, but technically it is still a whistle register, the highest register that we can achieve and use as a human being. And here we have examples of whistle register combined with fry scream with videos I have recorded few years ago. Anyway, now we will listen to the Back from the Dead demo by Death from 1985. <laughs> between the previous release, Power of Darkness, and that Back From The Dead demo in the music and vocals as well. It is like Chuck Schuldiner is inspired now more by the vocals of Jeff Becerra from Possessed. And from that point I want to mention that Jeff and Chuck were close friends, they were hanging out with each other, they were jamming and playing music uh, together and they were kind of admiring of each other. Technically that style consists of very harsh false chord distortion combined with the fry scream distortion and the guttural and at the same time nasal placement for the vocals and that style is developed further by Chuck Schuldiner on next releases like the Mutilation demo from 1986. <laughs> To create a 
style similar to the demos like Back from the Dead and the Mutilation, you have to be familiar with using a false chord, even a basic growl like <coughs> just basic false chord and basic fry like <coughs> and then you have to be able to place your voice in your guts and your nose and it is very simple um, to create such placement when we will make an impression of some retarded uh, caveman and uh, create a sound with our clean voice like <laughs> and on the top of that sound we add a growl, a distortion and it depends if you are more false chord or more fry scream uh, person type of vocalist personally I do more often a false chord uh, technique Okay, so we have the foundation of the sound and on the top of that sound we put a distortion, harsh, heavy distortion. And here we have some old example of how can it sound. It comes from 2013 when I was just practicing vocals for about five months and was pretty much fascinated with the sound of Chuck Schuldiner and John Tardy from Obituary. As I have mentioned before, the style, vocal style that has appeared on Back From The Dead demo and the Mutilation demo was further developed by Chuck on later releases like Scream Bloody Gore or Lip Rosie uh, album. Yet the main difference is that the pitch on demos uh, was uh, pretty much low and on the Scream Bloody Gore and Lip Rosie the pitch is pretty uh, high. Chuck is using often a head voice, higher chest voice and from time to time falsetto for the highest screams. The overall pitch is higher, yet still we can hear that nasal and guttural placement. It can be pretty much confusing because we can clearly hear that the pitch is pretty high, there are higher registers, but at the same time the overall sound color is dark and guttural. And this is why it can be pretty much confusing. It was for me for uh, many, many years. Shortly, it is like you were screaming using a high pitch, higher registers, but the placement of the sound was more guttural. What is also worth to mention about that girlish old school guttural type of growling and screaming that Chuck Schuldiner was using early uh, is that even Chuck by himself told in some interview that during recording vocals for Leprosy the album he almost fucked up his voice and I have to admit that honestly this is very harsh and heavy uh, vocal style for our vocal folds and our voice in overall so be careful while practicing that specific uh, technique and uh, style if something hurts then don't do it and try to achieve similar as best as possible sounds without any damage, without hurting your voice.
The bridge between gore-themed lyrics, guttural, gullish type of growling and screaming and very dirty, aggressive manner of playing the music and between uh, the more technical approach, clearer pronunciation and lyrics that touches pretty much important issues of our modern society is the album Spiritual Healing. We can see their problems like addiction, abortion, psychological problems like defensive personalities, deceiving people by televangelists and killing spree which ends with the suicide of the killer. All the prayers in the world can help you now A killer or a taker of life is what you are Speak no more lies Vocals on the Spiritual Healing album are less guttural. It is more like the placement of the sound out of the still and nasal is at the same time more focused on the chest and on the head voice. The sound is a little bit brighter and the pronunciation is a little bit clearer. So if you want to get a style of vocal similar to the one that is present on the Spiritual Healing album, then focus more on your chest voice, your head voice instead of your guts. Uh, sustain that nasal placement for your vocals and try to pronounce the words clearer. Abortion! When it is needed! Execution for those who deserve it! Giving and taking the life! There is one more interesting thing about the vocals from the Spiritual Helen album. It is the one specific weird scream from the offensive personalities a song. Such an effect can be a result of combining a high-pitched scream with a lower-pitched scream. Just take a listen. You can hear similar effect in the cover of Morbid Angel I have recorded few years ago. On the next albums like Human and Individual Thought Patterns, Chuck is leaving behind already that nasal and guttural placement for his vocals for the advantage of much more clearer pronunciation and message. His vocals are not reminding at all that girlish old school guttural type of growling and screaming which are present even on the spiritual healing album. Now his voice is more like yelling with pretty harsh distortion, heavy distortion based on the fry technique combined with angry, yelling, shouting, clean vocals in the background. Human album is definitely a technical masterpiece and at the same time we can notice a huge sentiment of Chuck Schuldiner for the band Kiss because we can find there a cover of a God of Thunder song which is pretty awesome and I like it much more than the original one. God of Thunder, To get 
this sound like on the human album for our vocals we have to be familiar with the yell scream technique which is shortly a combination between a harsh heavy a distortion mostly a fry screen distortion with our clean yet shouting yelling angry voice so we deal with a harsh distortion yet the natural sound color and clean voice are still present in the background of our vocals we can start to learn how to yell how to shout using our clean voice sustaining our throat open and using a reasonable amount of breath support so our voice could stay relaxed and safe from any kind of damage and the sound that we can begin with is just ha 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 hey 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 and we have to be also familiar with using our head voice and the most simple trick of how to transist the voice from our chest to our head is to make ugly face like this and to put our voice in our nose so when I do a thing like ha ha I use my chest voice but when I make that ugly face I just lift up my voice to the head voice to my nose and I don't feel my voice in the throat I feel it in the area of my mask in the area of my face and when I scream like this now ha 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 I am more using now head voice so you can use that simple trick for your advantage especially in the beginning of your practice in the meantime you can practice the distortion if you are more into the fry screen technique then you can start with the vocal fry the most lazy sound possible using the fry mechanism uh, And the most easy way of how to get fry scream is to uh, transist our vocal fry from our chest voice to our head voice or to falsetto. So we transist the sound like this. If you want to learn more about the fry scream technique, feel free to check out the fry scream playlist on that channel. There are dozens of videos about how to get, how to practice and how to improve your fry scream when we are already familiar with yelling with shouting using our clean voice it is totally comfortable for us uh, to make we use reasonable amount of breath support and our throat remains opened free of any unnecessary uh, tension we also are familiar with creating the distortion it can be false chord it can be fry scream the more the better the more tools you will have to create your own unique style of vocals uh, anyway, then we can start to combine those two sounds, that clean yelling with the distortion. Also, don't worry if you will sound different. I will not try to copy the sound of Chuck neither. I am baritone, he was tenor, and this is the main uh, difference. For example, the sound color of each of us is a little bit different. Even the shape of our face, our bones, and uh, stuff like that can decide uh, how we sound so don't expect that sounding like somebody else will be uh, easy shit to achieve there are people most of the people learn a whole life how to sound properly like themselves so don't expect that sounding like somebody else will be uh, easy anyway let's try to combine the yelling shouting sound with the distortion we begin with the clean sound in our nose ha 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 then we reduce that ugly face to take that sound from our nose ha ha yet the sound is still in our head voice it is very important it is kind of uh, essential and now we put the sound on the distortion lack of god prehension private your own cliche
Feel free to check out the Philosopher cover I have recorded last year. Obviously, I am not using full voice, the head voice or the higher chest voice as Chuck do, because he's tenor, I am baritone and I had to already use a falsetto register. album is symbolic, a perfect combination of technicality, melody, touching solos and harsh vocals as well. Chuck seems to use much more head voice register than on previous uh, releases, previous uh, albums. It makes the sound overall lighter, yet much more sharper at the same uh, time. For me, a humble baritone, it would be already necessary to use falsetto register. While listening to the discography of Death, we can observe the evolution of Chuck Schuldiner as a vocalist, lyricist, guitarist and overall composer as well. And it is fucking awesome to have the chance to observe such growth or such great musician. The major shift in the vocal style of Chuck Schuldiner appears on the last album, The Sound of Perseverance. When we will match together the Sound of Perseverance vocal style with, for example, Scream Bloody Gore, we will get totally two different vocal styles. And it is awesome, those contrasts are the essence of the death discography. I like them very much because every album is quite different and it is kind of very refreshing to listen to Death's album one by one because every one of them represents a little bit different music, vocals and style of the lyrics. Anyway, the vocal style of Chuck Schuldiner on the Sound of Perseverance represents higher pitch, even higher than on the Symbolic album. Now the voice of Chuck seems to be in between a very high head voice and the falsetto register, which makes the sound even more sharp and more juicy and aggressive. Also, the amount of the distortion is greater than on a Symbolic, and this distortion is based only on a fry scream technique. 
yet still the sound is not a pure fry screen distortion like for example in the band Emperor where we can hear mostly only uh, the distortion in high pitched uh, screaming when Chuck is screaming we still hear his natural tone, his natural sound color and we can easily recognize his voice deep within in the background of the screaming and the distortion so still it is a combination of yelling with angry a clean very high pitched a voice connected with the fry scream technique no achieve a style of vocals like on the sound of perseverance you have to develop your range pretty fucking high develop and stretch your head voice learn how to use the falsetto and learn the smooth transition in between the registers between head voice and the falsetto and the opposite in the meantime master your fry scream technique and fry scream distortion when those two factors will be perfect or at least Fine, then try to combine them together, put in more focus on the distortion performed on a fucking very high pitch. What is also quite unique when it comes to the vocal style of Chuck Schuldiner is the way he pronounces words, especially on the last album of Death. We can clearly hear it on live performance, for example, Death in LA from 98. We can clearly hear that the accent, the way that Chuck is pronouncing words is pretty much thick. It reminds me of the setting of a mouth and the tongue like during spelling the letter R. It makes the sound more angry. It reminds me of biting the sound with anger R and it makes the overall accent thicker. Never is all that slimy guy Yes I lie and wait to die Beside extreme and aggressive manner of performing vocals Chuck also wanted to sing clean. We can hear it on the demos of Control the Night two songs Moment of Clarity and Story to Tell which later became the songs on the Sound of Perseverance by death but firstly they were supposed to appear on the fragile art of existence from control denied these are only demos so it is pretty hard to expect the highest peak the best possible performance but still those demos are very useful valuable source of information about the vocals of Chuck Schrodinger for example we can still hear there a lot of tension lot of constriction in the throat of Chuck it seems for me like he's so used for creating massive harsh aggressive sounds 
that when it comes to the clean singing, producing more subtle, lighter and prettier sounds, he's automatically uh, over using his strength and pushing uh, the sounds singing through his squeezed throat. So it is not about hitting the notes, it is not about the range, it is only about releasing the tension from the throat and from the larynx. So I bet, I guarantee you that if Chuck was still around here and he went uh, to a good voice emission teacher, they would fix this shit in two or three weeks. It was only about releasing the tension from the larynx, the throat and learning how to use the uh, breath support and how to produce singing sounds without pushing, without squeezing the throat and that's all. Finally, Chuck didn't record his vocals for Control, uh, the Knight's album Fragile Art of Existence because he has hired Tim Imar, which was at the time fucking awesome uh, vocalist and stories tell that uh, Tim Imar was singing the way how Chuck wanted to sound by himself and this is why he wanted to cooperate with Tim Imar and to include his vocals in his band Control the Night and Tim Imar did his job fucking well. I saw you, you saw me, you hit your back so well. I should have no better, but it is hard to tell. In beauty, the evil, waiting for possession. Deep inside, reflections, just a glimpse away. Unfortunately, the death of Chuck Schuldiner interrupted the process of recording of the second album of Control The Night, which had the working title When Man and Machine Collide. I think you can find those songs, maybe four songs from that album, but we will never hear the full potential of that recordings because they are even not demos, they are just like project, unfinished, totally unfinished uh, project. Anyway, we can only think and guess what would Chuck Schuldiner create, what would be uh, his next step in his uh, musical uh, composing uh, career and we will never know, but what we know is that he created a bunch of fucking awesome music and we can listen to it and bang our fucking heads to songs of death and the control denied. Okay, so here we have it. Analyze of the vocals of one of the most influential and greatest persons in the metal music history. Chuck Schuldiner, awesome vocalist, awesome lyricist, guitarist and overall composer. I hope that you will find this video interesting, helpful and valuable. Enjoy your fucking day, play deaf songs in Control the Nights fucking loud. It is a very special day in metal history. Love life and enjoy death.